when I first got the phone call that uh, the job was mine, it was uh, a huge rush of many different emotions. I've never had quite the same sensation before of elation, fear, anxiety, and great honor. Opera is the most amazing of art forms. It delves into the fundamental questions of who we are as human beings. It delves into the questions of how we interact with ourselves and with society. It grapples with emotions at a very deep level. You have this amazing combination of the human voice, and we all have a human voice, and so whether we sing like opera singers or not, we can identify with that as a medium. You have music, which can reach into our primal brain and connect with us on a very deep level. And then in opera, you have a narrative framed around that, this dramatic discourse that's happening on stage that lets us clothe that emotion in kind of a sense of reality and uh, in a way that we can examine and reflect upon. So I think opera pulls those three strands together, the voice, the music, and the drama, in a way which no other art form can. So I'm, I would be very excited to introduce people to opera, to get them to experience that kind of transcendent feeling that you get you know, at the end of Bohème or at the end of Traviata, where you can be in tears about a story that really has nothing to do with you in time or place, but has found that emotional resonance with you. Music had always been part of my lifeblood um, from a very early age, and opera had been something which I went to regularly. I think I was probably about 19 when I just realized that this was the place I wanted to be. This was the art form that was really grabbing me from all different angles, from the repertoire, from the history, from the sociology, and then eventually from the administrative side as well. And I came to see opera as the most fabulous jigsaw puzzle, the most complicated jigsaw puzzle that one could put together, embracing all of the different arts. Well, one of my personal favorites uh, who has never been on this stage is, uh, is the French Baroque composer Rameau. I think his music has a tremendous propulsion and energy and uh, honesty to it. And if, if I had my druthers, then uh, we might see a Rameau in the future seasons. I'm excited to look at a new Parsifal. It's, it will have been 20 years uh, that we will have done a Parsifal. And I think that given the huge momentum of the ring and the return of the ring in 2018, that is something I'm very excited to look at. Commissioning is the creative lifeblood of a company and a great mark of who a company is. And I'm excited to delve into future possibilities. We have a few commissions up our sleeves for future years that David has put together. And I look forward to commissions beyond that. I'm also excited for the space next door at the Wilsey Center and what that could mean for new work as well. A very different kind of new work in a much more experimental style. I think here in San Francisco we have a challenge and a great opportunity to really activate this arts district into something very contemporary and very exciting for the future. We have all of the great trappings of a wonderful arts district, the great companies that are here, the great restaurants that are here, and the great audience that is here. And now I think it's tying all of that together into a part of town that is exciting to get to, easy to get to, uh, safe to be in, and just a wonderful reflection of the spirit of San Francisco. I've been blessed to have the counsel and guidance and wisdom of David for the last 13 years and see how he brings everyone together in uh, shared problem solving and how generous he is in including people in the creative process. And I very much look forward to doing that in this new capacity. I think opera, given its complexity, is something that really benefits from tremendous teamwork and we have one of the very best teams here. I'm very proud to work with them and very excited to keep delving into the creative challenge and excitement of opera. I met Nicola first in 2005. Uh, David and I had just arrived and Nicola was conducting Forza del Destino in his company debut. And just the energy of that orchestra under his baton was so sensational and to then get the chance to work with him in successive years, to talk with him, to be inspired by him. There's, so, there's very few people who have that level of just innate inspiration, and Nicola brings that to this company in spades. I'm absolutely thrilled that Matthew is going to be the next general director. 
with Matthew at the helm, San Francisco Opera will continue its pivotal role as one of the world's leading opera companies. Matthew emerged as the ideal candidate for many reasons that are obvious to many of you. Uh, clearly, he understands the opera's very complex operations, uh, has strong artistic and management credentials. We want to be forward thinking, we want to be innovative, we want to be creative, and we want to be inclusive and I th in our culture. And I think Matthew uh, embodies all of those ideals. Now, while Matthew is an inside candidate, he was subjected to the same screening and vetting process as all the other candidates. And competing head to head prevailed as the most qualified and best choice to be San Francisco Opera's next general director. I discovered that uh, Matthew was a fantastic musician, very good ear, listen to the singers, and calm, and intelligent, smart, and so, oh my God, this guy is young, but so mature. I said, one day, you will be an intendant, and probably I will be your music director. I said, wow, I would dream to have uh, things like that. I'm deeply grateful to Steve Menzies and Bob Ellis and the entire search committee, to John Gunn and Keith Gieselin and the entire board for this incredible opportunity to keep serving the company that I've come to love so much over the past decade. I couldn't be more excited to be standing here with you all today, and it's inspiring to follow in the legacy of the six general directors who have shaped this company with such acumen over the last 93 years. The board's willingness to hire internally is a great affirmation of the work that we are all doing. SFO is on a very positive trajectory, and this is a huge vote of confidence in the capabilities and talents of the entire company. I have been deeply blessed to have worked for David for over 13 years, and at every juncture he has flung wide the gates of opportunity and possibility. His legacy is one of the greatest of any impresario working in 400 years of opera. I hope to honor him through my work here, reflecting the passion and adventure and integrity that he has always brought to his work. Thank you. Thank you. So day one of my tenure as general director, August 1st, 2016, I think I'll begin by hanging some photos of my family, my wife and children in the office, and then I look forward to walking around the company, meeting and shaking hands with all of the great people who make up this organization, and expressing my great honor for the chance to work in such a magnificent company.